It's February and we just finished aerating the greens with uh, quarter inch hollow core tines. And we've been doing that for about five, six years now. I um, mean, we've been aerating the greens uh, five to six times a year. And we do that to firm them up. They were, they were pretty soft and pretty thatchy and we're at the point now where we're switching back over to, to the, you know, a regular link style golf course. And in order to do that, you gotta, we have to put more sand down and we want it to play firm and hard and fast and dry. And in order to have uh, good greens, you have to aerate them a lot so they can breathe and exchange gases and accept irrigation water without puddling up. And it's, it's quite a process. Jason and I and Tim talked about um, increasing the greens complexes. They're actually mowed shorter than our tees are so that a ball can hit on the side, roll up and come back down towards the greens. You know, I'd like to have the greens around 11 and a half to 12 and a half. I like it to keep them right where a guy has to second guess himself when he stands over the ball to make a putt. He just has to think about it a few more seconds and sometimes that's enough to change the game. You know, everything we're doing right now is, affects us during the tournament. So we just finished aerating the greens with small tines, solid tines. There's a hole every inch and a half. It goes down about six inches um, into the turf. Then we come along with a uh, top dresser and we spread sand out over the top of the, the greens. It firms up the surfaces, trues the surfaces up, makes them putt nice. Then we brush it in um, and that fills the holes in and then um, we fertilize them and water them and get them to heal real quick for the, so that we can play them the rest of the season. We've been verticutting the greens. Um, we're mowing them seven days a week right now and probably rolling them five to six days a week. The speed of the greens are normally 11 and a half to 12, um, but for the tournament they'll be 12 to 13. Part of that's gonna be weather driven. If the wind blows, it helps dry them out and that also picks the speed up on them. Um, we'll mow them and roll them every day. If they're not uh, rolling where we want them to, we'll, roll them, we'll mow them two and three times a day just to get them where I want them. I'm trying to keep the water up in the fairways and then we'll turn it down right at, just to get us through the summer. Um, we've had pretty, a pretty dry spring. We're coming into the fall. Hopefully we can cut the water back a little bit. The fescue, it'll start to decay here pretty soon. Right now it's pretty thick. We've had a couple showers heavy showers roll through and every time that happens they tend to flush in growth um, but we're coming into the fall part of the season and so it should get a little bit thinner. I would imagine it's going to be pretty tough to hit out of even then with the wooden sticks. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of people and I'm looking forward to, to the uh, players enjoying the golf course. I'm going to watch a lot of it.